Hello, brothers and sisters. Hello, America. Happy True God's Day. On behalf of our Continental Director, Dr. Chang Shik Young, and myself, Reverend Michael Jenkins, we want to wish you and your family the very best for the new year. Father has now initiated such a beautiful celebration on the foundation of the 120 city world tour. Father explained that the 120 cities were like representing the 120 disciples of Jesus that gathered together at the Pentecost and that a new Pentecost will occur throughout the world. Father also gave us a new motto last night and I hope I get it right. It's called the era of the completed settlement for the model providence for the ideal of peace in heaven and in earth. This motto really relates with the speaking tour, God's Ideal Family, the model for world peace. The model is the blessed family and the focus of our work in this next year is going to be on strengthening our blessed families, strengthening our movement, strengthening especially our second generation. Father emphasized our Hundok Family Church and the Tongbong Kyokpa and how much we really must really adopt to Father's lifestyle, understanding that the era after the coming of heaven is totally different. Also, Father's letting us know that the condition that he just set of this 120 city world tour has set a condition in the spiritual world and on earth where evil is going to continuously and very rapidly lose power. We believe with absolute confidence that as we march forward and give God's word, that the evil forces that are polluting our, our media, polluting our movies, polluting our, our uh, communications, are going to lose power, just as communism lost power, and finally collapsed. We believe that the forces of immorality are going to lose power. But the key is the unity of the blessed couple, the unity with your regional directors, the unity with all of our blessed families and our elders working together, the unity with the ambassadors for peace and the clergy. This is a time of peace. We just had our morning hundoke with True Father. It was so beautiful. We began with 7 a.m. prayer, and then Father uh, gave the special prayer himself and offering, and also then Reverend Kwok pay, prayed. True parents did the Kyung Bay, and then True Family, and then all of our, our blessed families and representatives from all providential nations. Also the wives of the five spiritual leaders from the, the five saints from the spiritual world, including Jesus, came forward and, and Kyung Bay before True Parents. Then Father shared with us his vision for the future. He made some changes of the, of the international movement, saying that now is the time when everybody must have absolute confidence and that we can absolutely claim whatever we pray for. So this is a wonderful time. We want to wish true God's day to your family. Hundo K began at 7 a.m. We just finished. It's now quarter till two. We just dismissed. Father gave everything. And the most amazing thing, from 11 a.m. to 1.30, Father read his speech once again. The historic speech, God's ideal family, the model for world peace. Father shared with us his heart and that he had been reading the speech five days, five times every single day. And that Father was doing that to organize and motivate and unify the spirit world. Father also said now is the time where he gives his word about something and then all the heavenly myriad and the spiritual world organizes to make that happen. Therefore, whatever Father directs us to do, we must really be confident that everything is prepared. I'm so grateful my wife and I can attend this God's Day celebration. We're here with many new blessed couples from the Gyocha Blessing. I want to thank you for sending your sons and daughters. Also, we thank you for sending the beautiful ambassadors for peace and first generation. Many, many were blessed. 1,147 couples were blessed on December 29th. It was very, very moving to see Father with his finger moving to match and match and match and match. Can you imagine? Father matched almost 1,000 couples in about 10 hours. But then he did something that was quite shocking. When it came to the re-blessing of our families, he asked the Continental Directors and myself to participate in doing the matching. That was a very spiritual phenomenon, but people were meeting them within one or two minutes. They were deciding whether the next day they wanted to be blessed. We're very excited. We heard the testimony this morning from Mrs. Kong the first member, and she shared with us how she doubted Father, how when she was dressed in an army uniform, and he was claiming that the world would become one, 
and all the world religions would unite as one. She said she doubted completely. She was a Presbyterian Christian, the first member of our movement. And, but she testified that one day when Father knew she was having doubts, he told her to open the Bible to any place she wanted, anywhere. And she opened the Bible to wherever she felt. And he said, read verse 31. It was Matthew 14, 31. And it was the story of Jesus talking to Peter when he lost faith on the water. And Jesus, when he was in the boat and the storm became great and they didn't trust Jesus. And Jesus said, oh, ye of little faith. And Father told Mrs. Kong that, exactly what the verse was without seeing it. Oh, ye of little faith. From that moment on, her spirit changed and she never doubted Father again. Now from that mud hut in Pusan, all of the world's religions are cooperating. Our Father is absolutely proclaiming three areas must be our focus. Palestine and the liberation of the Palestinians and the unity of Israelis and Palestinians, the unities of Jews, the unity of Jews, Christians and Muslims. The 38th parallel, the second focus, we must end the 38th parallel and bring the unity of, of North and South Korea. Also, we must build the Bering Strait, World Peace King Bridge and Tunnel. We must do this. Father is talking deeply about Palestine and making it very clear that the real root of the problem there was related with the rejection of Jesus. But now we know through the coronation of Jesus that was healed. Father talked about that today and how this led to Father's coronation. That Father as the third Adam had to fulfill the first Adam's role, the second Adam's role, and the third Adam's role. And now through the world tour, everything not only was completed before in the year of 2004 and 2005, but now through the 120 city world tour, it was expanded to every, every nation. Father said, I went to every city and absolutely have faith that God has prepared one person in every city to inherit my legacy. We believe you're that person in your city that really will understand Father's speech, the God's ideal family, the model for world peace. We believe you're the family that's been chosen. Reverend Joshua Cotter is now launching an amazing, amazing movement called the Family Association in which our families are going to touch every family in America. We can see the vision that one million families will become associated with us. Why not? Reverend Shanker is developing the education system, did an amazing job with the young people here, with Mrs. Irakawa. Also, we're very thankful for Alexa Ward, who led the pilgrimage to China this year that was a healing power, healing bomb from women to go to China. That, that pilgrimage was incredible. Father embraced all of these things today. It was really amazing. Reverend Mito is our CARP president. We are working together to create a second generation revolution. We want to have our second gen really be put into every position that we share. College graduates are now coming to me and volunteering. I feel hope for America. It gives a hope of America's in our youth. Brothers and sisters, this is a new day. Father told us today, this is the sixth year of Chanukuk. Anything that Father directs us to do can and will be accomplished if we have faith. If we know God has already created the foundation in heaven and now is expanding that foundation on earth. Also, Father mentioned that every blessed family, without exception, must do their 40 days at Champyang. You must do this because you must set the condition of liberating your ancestors completely and also having them blessed and also cleansing and purifying yourself. We thank you and all the blessed couples, particularly Linda Tregel and Debbie Taylor, those two mothers did so much for outreach.